This short video will teach you how to take proper x-rays for posting on the internet as blogs or whatsapp posts. These days we have lot of academic groups and fora as whatsapp groups, blogs, posts, facebook web pages and x-rays are being posted. Many times patients send x-rays to doctors. It is natural that we need to photograph x-rays on many occasions and these x-rays might end up as bad pictures or good pictures depending on your technique. Here I will teach you how to take good pictures of x-rays for internet postings. One use at least a 12 megapixel camera. I use an iPhone 7 plus 256 GB. Two use a decent computer or laptop with image editing software like MS Paint, Photoshop or Apple Preview. I use an iMac 4 TB. Always use an X-ray lobby. Holding the X-ray against a bright light is a very bad way of taking photographs of X-rays. One must ensure that one uses a lobby, X-ray lobby and when one photographs the X-rays, one should ensure that the room is in relative darkness so that with a proper phone we take a proper x-ray at the trouble of committing the error of repetition i would again say that a good phone is absolutely essential for both photographing and editing an x-ray this is an example of a very bad photograph of an x-ray which hardly conveys any information. This one is bad with all the paraphernalia on the side and the picture taken obliquely. However, it conveys some information. This is getting better but still a lot of space is wasted and the central area of the image is too bright taking away the features this one is getting better if this is cropped till the left half of the corner it would have been better this one is almost there where they have incorporated the scale of measurements and corrected the exposure precisely however the color correction is missing here is a proper x-ray which is taken with all the parameters in the correct manner. So the lessons we learn here are switch off the flash and keep the camera steady. I repeat switch off the flash. Keep the camera parallel to the screen so that we are able to get a square crop with the precise area we need for posting on the internet or sharing with our friends. Crop the image, take away all the unnecessary areas around and ensure that the hospital name, patient's name and all other identification is cleared away from the frame. The picture on the left is wrong, it's a mirror image. Since the left it shows the right, it uh, is not cropped, it shows the patient's name, it shows the hospital's name and the film is oblique. The one on the right is absolutely right, properly cropped and balanced. The picture should be focused correctly, the field should be correct, inclination to be correct and most importantly one must use the black and white mode in the camera to use while photographing an x-ray on an x-ray lobby. 
we look at this you can see that simple editing and correction where a photo editing software can produce remarkable results without color correction next they will look blue or greenish or pinkish without a proper focus adjustment the image will look blurred or out of focus if lot of area is wasted all around the x-ray by differential peripheral area all you have to do is crop the image and color correct it from bad to good is rather easy photographing x-ray is no rocket science and once you appreciate enjoy learn and start enjoying photographing x-rays it would not be too long when you start photographing every patient and maintaining documents and records which will be useful for your practice research and medical legal purposes remember orthopedics is absolute fun it depends on how you look at the subject this helps patients become better at the same time gives you an absolute thrill of being able to make patients better thank you very much i am dr l prakash from chennai and this is just a beginning in my unusual series of orthopedic teachings thank you